I did a global search for islands. This is part three of the story behind the setting of my sci-fi thriller, The Last Beekeeper. I wanted a remote island with low population, and I found one in Michigan called Beaver Island, and I wanted to go there for a research trip. I'm an American, grew up in Michigan, but now living in New Zealand, and on a trip back to visit family in 2019, my sisters and I went on the first ever grown-up sibling road trip, and we went to Beaver Island. We took the ferry over. It's a good long ferry ride. It's not a really uh, luxury island. It's very quiet. There's really no Wi-Fi. There's a pub and two lighthouses and uh, a few hotels and B&Bs, but not much, really. There's not much to do. It's simple. It's quiet. The people know each other. On the main street, people don't lock their bikes. The hardware store leaves things outside all night that they're selling like uh, bags of fertilizer and compost and nobody steals them so it's a quaint safe quiet place and so that was where I needed to set my novel but the topography wasn't exactly what I needed so I decided to change the island I made Gull Island based on Beaver Island here's Beaver Island there's Gull Island see the similarities and I wanted especially a dark old growth forest so I created a place called Catmull's Thicket it's a basin on the north end of the island, and there are a lot of downed trees that are rotting. There's a lot of moss. There's a lot of strange and twisted branches lying on the ground. And it's dark, scary, and creepy, and perfect for the setting of my novel. So Beaver Island inspired Gull Island, and my setting was born.